Welcome back to the Random Stuff Garage. If you're new here, come on in, make yourself comfortable. And uh, if you've been here before, welcome back. Um, keeping on with the uh, Disney Plus Marvel Legends uh, Hydra Stomper 2.0 Build a Figure Wave, we have Goliath from What If. It's actually from What If Season 2. Uh, highly recommended. Um, this one uh, comes with the parts to make Hydra Stomper 2.0. Uh, number 5 here is Goliath, and that is part of, let's see, it is the right arm and right fist. On the back here, we've got a picture of Goliath in a nice little fighting stance. Um, and the arm. Some artwork there. You got uh, Watu and uh, a nice close up of, of Bill Foster there. Uh, unfortunately, maybe maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. Let's let's open it up and figure and figure out. Um, let's let's see. But I wish, I really wish it came with an unhelmeted Bill Foster head, because he definitely is unhelmeted uh, for some of that episode of um, What If. And he was one of my favorite characters from that episode, man. He was really cool. And they did a great job capturing the likeness of a young Lawrence Fishburne in animated form. Really cool. There we go. All right. Uh, nothing else in the box. Get that out of here. Got a Hydra Stomper piece. He's got the uh, Silence, Silence of the Lambs uh, packaging there. And the egg roll bag. There we go. Get rid of that. Don't need these. There he is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, is it reuse from Ant-Man? Maybe? I'm not sure yet, because I haven't opened my Ant-Man figure. Really cool. Uh, except his little ear thing is bent. Dang it. That one's not. <laughs> this one is. Ugh. Oh, plastic-free packaging. It means our stuff won't be bent anymore. Yeah, you want to bet? Uh, it appears that I've already mostly fixed it. Uh, no, it's still wanting to tweak down. I'll have to heat it up. Anyway, uh, you can see eyes inside the helmet. But no, there is no... Yeah, no no alternate uh, unhelmeted head. Wah, wah. That would have been really cool if they had done that. If this will focus. Try and show his eyes behind the visor. Again, there we go. Really cool. I'm almost getting kind of like Big Hero 6 vibes there from that helmet. You know? What was his name? Uh, Baymax uh, version 2.0 or whatever. Like, he had a similar shaped helmet. Anyway, yeah. Bill Foster Goliath. Pretty neat. Uh, no accessories. He's got uh, double, wow, really stiff double jointed elbows. He's got a punching hand and a gripping hand for accessories that he doesn't come with nor would he need them uh, no butterfly joints They're kind of weird openings for shoulders that are not big enough to fill them I don't know if you see that like big old big old gap in the shoulders both sides really kind of strange big giant gaps there like they didn't press them in enough I don't know. Um, articulation is good though. Like, they go up pretty high. Yeah, it's like they don't go in all the way, but they are, you know. Yeah. Head goes up pretty good. Goes down. That's a standard. Man, how that would have been really cool if they had given us an alternate head sculpt with an unhelmeted. No, oh, Foster. That doesn't even want to come off. Maybe that's why. <laughs> uh, oh, it's on a disc. Okay, so yeah, he can look way up. Cool. I'm guessing this might be like an Ant-Man buck. It's got to be, right, from the movie. And he can look way down. Cool. Why can't we get, like, a 12-inch Goliath? How cool would that have been? Instead, we got 12-inch Cassie, which was, you know, from the movie. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, kick straight out. Pretty good. Double-jointed knees. Go all the way up. And you got cool knee pads. Um, 
I mean, it's a cool figure, you know? It's fun. But, oh man, those ankles are, ankle rockers are really tight. Uh, and he's got a crunch. So again, he can look, you know, were he huge, he could look way down at, like, stuff at his feet. Crunch down, pretty good. Not great, but good. Good enough, just good. Like, you down there. <laughs> look at the ants. Um, and he does have a waist swivel, but no side-to-side -side above the uh, hips at all. So, just the crunch and swivel. Spider-Man, he is not. I'm okay with that. You know? Um, ooh, some really tight... Yeah, some of this joints are super tight so yeah but it's cool man to see bill foster get a get a figure even though it was what if and we didn't get an unhelmeted head but it's still cool um it's not my favorite of the wave but uh it works it's it's good man um no accessories with him other than the hydra stomper build a figure piece There we go. So again, we got another hand, an arm. Oh, there's a star on that shoulder too. Okay, I thought it was just on the left shoulder. Um, so that pose is pretty good. Pretty good paint detail. I mean, there's not much. You know, it's really, um, it's good looking plastic. There's a little bit of marbling. But it kind of goes with it. You know, yeah, you can see it a little bit right here. See some marbling on that piece. But, you know, for the most part, it's pretty good. It's better when they first started this metallic uh, plastic. Pretty good. And then you got the uh, punchy hand there. Punchy fist for the uh, Hydra Stomper 2.0. And we're on the home stretch, man. Um, that's Bill Foster's Goliath from What If Season 2. And uh, I really don't know what kind of photos I can take with this guy. We'll see. We'll see what I can come up with if I, if I do that. But uh, yeah, until next time, see you all later.